Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how to customize the single product page in Astra theme. On this demo website, I'm using Astra theme and this is the current layout of the single product page. I'm going to customize the layout of the single product page. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to customize the shop page on Astra theme plugin. So we customized the shop page and we have changed the layout of the shop page in one of the previous videos. If you want to watch that video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Here you can see that I'm using the free Astra theme on this website and I'm also using the Astra Pro plugin. So I'm going to deactivate the Astra Pro plugin and we will first customize the product page without the Astra Pro plugin. Later, we will enable the Astra Pro plugin and we will see what are the features that we can customize using the Astra Pro plugin. So right now the Astra Pro plugin is deactivated. So let's go to the shop page and go to one of the products page. Let's use this one. Now let's go to customize. Now this single product page customization will be applicable to all the products page. Now here you will see the settings for the customization. This is the container layout. Here you will see different options, boxed, content, full width, stretch. Let's change it to full width content. And here you will see a slight change in the width of this product page. Right now it is set to no sidebar. If you want to add sidebar, you can add the sidebar. Now here you will see different options, a title, a ratings, price, short description, add to cart and meta. Now here you will see the title, then the ratings. Right now I do not have any ratings for this one. So that's why it's not showing any rating here. Then price, you will see the price, then short description. You will see the short description here. If I disable it, it will disappear. So I'm going to enable it. Now after that you have add to cart. This is the add to cart button and then meta. These are the meta options, the category, SKU, everything will be shown here. If I enable category, it will show the category. It comes under meta also. So I'm going to disable it and let's enable the payment. And you will see the payment options here. So these are the options that you can add. If you want to add other options, you can add from here. You will see the guaranteed safe checkout. So if you want to enable it, you can show it. Otherwise you can disable it. Now here you will see enable breadcrumb. This is the breadcrumb. You will see the breadcrumb here. If you disable it, it will go away. Enable shipping text, let's enable it. So if you want to enable shipping method, you can enable it and it will show the shipping method here. You can change the content from here. If you want to add another shipping method or if you want to add something else, you can add it here the product variation layout. Right now it is set to stack. If I change it to inline, you will see the change here. Next to the size, it will show the options. Next to the color, it will show the color options, just like that. So I'll change it to stack. Okay, now here you will see sticky add to cart. So I'm going to enable it. Let's scroll down and you will see the option here. This is the sticky add to cart. So this is how it will look. If you want to change the position of the sticky add to cart, you can simply change it from here. Right now it is set to top, change it to bottom. And here you will see the option. So these are the basic options. If you go to design, you will see the option to change the color settings. Change it to, let's say, dark black. This is the text color. This is the background color. Change it to something like this. This is for this sticky add to cart button. So this is how it will look. Button text. This is the button text. Color. Color for the button text. Background color. So here you will see the change. Now the other design options or the other style settings options are not available for the free Astra. We need to have the Astra Pro. So let's publish this one and let's see how does this look. So I'll go back to the website and I'll go to one of the product page. Let's go to this product. And you will see the changes here. If I scroll down, you will see this option, the payment option that we enabled. This is add to cart. If I scroll down, you will see the sticky add to cart button here. From here, you can simply change the number of items. And you can add to the cart directly from the cart button. 
All right, let's go back to the plugins and activate the Astar Pro plugin. Now let's go back to customization and refresh this one. All right, so we have enabled the Astar Pro plugins. Now we will see what other features are available in the Astar Pro plugin. So these are the common features. Now here you will see the gallery layout is added. Right now you will see the gallery at the bottom. You can change the position if you want it on the left hand side. You can change the position just like this. You will see the gallery in the left hand side. Let's change to this one. So this is also looking good. So I'm going to keep it as it is. Enable zoom image zoom effect. So you will see the effect here if I disable it. So there is no zoom now. So you can enable it. And from here you can change the image width for the zoom effect. Right now it is set to 50, so leave it as it is. Now below that you have title. These are the same options that we saw in the free version. Enable breadcrumb is there, enable shipping text. Product navigation adds a product navigation control on the top of the product summary section. So this is the product summary. Let's change it to circle. And here you will see the product navigation. So if I click on it, it will go to the next product. So we will enable it and we will see how does this look on the actual website. Now here you will see product variation. Change the drop down to button. So you have the drop downs here. Right now you can see the drop down here for the product variation. I'm going to change it to buttons. And you will see the buttons here. Small, medium, large, white, black. This one also looks good. Inline. Right now it is stack. We can change it to inline. And this is how to look. So this one looks good. I'm going to keep it on buttons stack. Now here you will see enable product description. So description is there. Vertical. Let's change it to vertical. And this is how to look. So I'm going to change it to horizontal. If you want to see how does this look. In the accordion let's change it to accordion and this is how it will look description these are the accordions from here you can see other descriptions so i'm going to keep it on the horizontal now the next one is display upsells so if you want to display upsells you can simply enable it and it will show all the products which are assigned as upsells you can also enable related products so it will show the products from the same category these are the upsell products. Here you will see the upsells product. If I enable the related products, it will show the related products from the same category and display recently viewed products. So we will enable all these three options. And once we publish, we will see how does this look. This is the text for the recently viewed products. Column three or four, I'm going to change it to three. Number of products, let's make it three. Enable sticky add to card is already there. Let's go back to the top and go to design option. Here you will see the general color. This is the title color. So I'm going to change it. Change the price color also. Just like this. Content color. I just want to show you how does this look. That's why I'm changing the colors. And this is the breadcrumb color. So I'm going to make it blue. Now here you will see icon colors. Let's change it. Uh, product navigation. These are the product navigation options. So if you want to change the color, you, will, you can change it from here. So here you will see color has been changed. These are the product descriptions. If you want to change the color, you can change the color from here. Just like this. Sticky add to cart. We have already changed the color there. Now here you can change the title font. If I click on it. You will see the font width, change it to 500. And I'm going to change the size. Let's see, I want to change it to 28. And you will see the difference here. If I make it 40, you will see the bigger size. So I'm going to keep it, on, keep it as it is, 28. Here you can see the uppercase, lowercase. So these are the font settings. If you want to change the font style, you can change it from here. So I'm going to publish it now. And let's see how does this look. 
let's go to one of the products and refresh it and this is how it will look so you can see the changes here we have got the color change for the breadcrumb title the pricing here you will see the product navigation and here you will see the product gallery the description is there we have changed the color of this one you will see the related products we have enabled the related products here you will see it here this one so you will see the related products here and recently viewed products so these are the items that you have recently viewed and this is the sticky add to cart button now here you will see now let's go to one of the valuable product and here you will see the drop down that we have changed to buttons these are the variables if i select small black and i can add this item to the cart here again you will see the upsell recently viewed product if i click on quick view it will show the quick view so this is how you can customize the single product page in astra theme using the astra pro plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips